da 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 Welcome to Sylvia's Super Awesome Mini Maker Show, Season 4, Episode 1. On this episode, we'll be taking a look at the incredibly popular craft that everyone is into. Um, not this craft. This type of craft, paper craft. Today we'll be showing you three perfect paper craft projects for beginners. 3D paper craft, colorful swirly paper, and hopping paper froggies. Let's go! So, what is this paper craft stuff anyways? Paper craft is usually some kind of 3D shape or model that's been flattened out into something that can easily be printed, cut out, folded, then glued or taped into a real life 3D model. Whoa, it's looking at me. Paper craft can also refer to any kind of paper-based crafts, like origami, scrapbooking, or even paper airplanes. For our first build, we'll be making our very own custom Minecraft avatar figurine. For this Mindtastic build, we will need paper, standard copy paper or cardstock, a computer and printer, black and white or color will do just fine, a glue stick and or invisible tape, some pointy scissors, and finally, a Minecraft account or your very own Minecraft skin. First up, head over to pixelpapercraft.com and if you've got a Minecraft account, just enter in your username exactly and click go. If you don't have an account, just upload a file or find a skin on the internet. There's thousands out there to choose from, thanks to the incredible Minecraft community. Once you've got your template printed out on your paper, grab your scissors and let's get started. What we can see are the faces of our 3D shape, each one placed where they need to be so when they're bent, they connect to each other and make up the shape we want. These tabs give us surface area to glue or tape parts together to themselves. These gray tabs here are special. They help connect the arms to the torso so they can move freely. Once it's all cut out, it's time to start creasing. Ninja fingers want to help. No! Huh. That was weird. Anyways, crease all the tabs in the main faces the same way in towards the unprinted side. Each one for this model just connects at 90 degrees, so it's super easy. When you're done creasing, fold each piece together and see how it looks. And if it's good, it's time to start gluing. Smear glue on the tabs and press firmly to set it. Continue with the legs and arms. Then, before you finish the torso, get those gray arm tabs sandwiched into the top flap. As a bonus, you can use whole toothpicks as swiveling struts to help attach the head and the legs. And you're done! Now you can reenact all your favorite pixelated adventures, IRL! For our next project, we'll be making some marbled paper, perfect for any paper craft project. And every one is unique. For this Swirltastic build, we will need plain foamy shaving cream, all your favorite colors for food coloring, large pan or baking sheet, flat scraper or squeegee, ruler is also great, some cardstock or paper, we'll be using 3x5 index cards, and finally, some toothpicks, optional. First take your pan and square out a flat shaving cream bow on the pan about the size of your paper. Ninja fingers can help. Hey, hey, what? No, oh, no, the no, no, ninja stop. <laughs> Those pesky ninja fingers always getting into my projects. Ow. Anyways. Using your squeegee, smooth out the top of the foam, then drop three to six drops of different colors all over the cream. Using the toothpick, swirl the different colors into a drawing or whatever cool pattern you like. Go nuts! Next, take your paper and lightly press it onto the top of the cream. Then gently lift the paper and squeegee off the cream. Wow! And it's so easy. Just look at all these other incredibly cool ones we've made. Let it dry for a minute, and if it gets a bit wrinkly, just stick it in a big, thick book for a while. Now what cool thing should we do with our awesome green marbled paper?
For our last project, we'll be making a classic hopping origami frog. For this ribbity build, we will need a 3x5 index card or cut card stuff. We'll be using some of the marbled cards from the last project, pens or stickers for decoration, and last but not least, fingers for folding. Hello. Hi -ya, hi -ya. I want to fold. No, no, no. First, grab a card, making sure the part that you want on the top is underneath. Then grab a top corner and fold it down flush to the edge to make a nice triangle. Then open it up and do the same with the other top corner. Next, push the two fold pockets into a little accordion and squash it down. Then take these new two tips and fold them up into a diamond and this will make the little front legs for our frog. Now take the side flaps and fold them inwards, perfectly matching the sides of our diamond. Now fold the back part in half to the middle of the diamond, and then fold this in half again backwards to the end. Flip it over and you've got your own colorful jumping froggy. Add some eyes, mouth, or anything you want. It's easy to memorize how to make them, and you can get your friends to help construct an army of them while you're bored in class. The world of papercraft is absolutely huge, limited only by your imagination, and there's so much inspiration just waiting around the corner. You just need to go take a look. Ninja fingers need to help papercraft. Kill you! That's all we got for this episode. Remember to keep experimenting, avoid ninja finger paper cuts, and get out there and make something!